Meanwhile, on Wednesday, the House of Representatives passed a sweeping gun control legislation largely along party lines, which is likely to fail in the Senate, which is currently negotiating its own bill. The Protecting Our Kids Act in the House makes many changes to currently existing federal firearms laws, such as banning high-capacity ammunition magazines, among others. During debate, Republican Dan Bishop of North Carolina stated that it isn't guns, but the lack of American family structure that is the cause for the uptick in violence. Why do we have this now? Chesterton, a British gentleman, came closest. He said the disintegration of rational society started in the drift from the hearth and the family. The solution must be a drift back. Everybody knows it's true. If there's a sickness in the country, it is the product of 60 years of disintegration of American culture by the liberal project. But as I said before, lawmakers in the Senate continue negotiations focused on school security, enhanced background checks, and improving mental health programs. The law that is emerging from those negotiations will involve measures that would leave the Second Amendment generally untouched to the delight of Republicans. Two of those measures, more funding for mental health and school security, would have no direct impact on Americans' right to buy or possess firearms and are widely popular with the right. Two other laws would prove more restrictive by strengthening red flag laws and raising the age of purchasing high-powered firearms to 21. But it's believed that they would likely be agreeable to at least 10 Republicans needed to surpass the Senate filibuster. Go to FISM.TV news for more.